Well, guys, watch Mama Badger here. She wants to do some kind of, like, film roll thing. We're in traffic, by the way. See all the traffic? Traffic. We're just parked in the middle of the fucking road. Bye, traffic. There is nobody. <laughs> right, except this car and that car and that car. Nobody. you got to watch this video, whether you're a guy or a girl, because you could potentially help someone be able to find a bike that best fits them. So keep watching, because we're going to talk about this. And my daughter, who is 17, 5 foot 5, and 125 pounds, and fits on this bike just fine. I'm Angie, they call me Mama Badger, and... This is not my 2005 fat boy. This is a, what is it? 2004 B Rod that I am riding today. Hey, welcome to Badass That Day with Mama Badger. I am following the Badger today on our ride. And not exactly riding my ride. Just show you here as I lean down. You can tell it's a little different today. This is my fish photo vlog, and what could possibly go wrong with the photo vlog for me will go wrong. I was this time jumping on my bike and having a dead battery. I just looked at Sunny and said, you know what? I don't care. I don't mind. I'll step on silver. You guys don't care, do you? <laughs> so here I am. So the topic is about women. And I've been in a couple Facebook groups. And there's several posts. Almost seems like daily of women talking about how they're so concerned about whether or not they're going to be able to ride a bike. The biggest thing I read over and over again is, am I going to drop it? You know, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. I'm afraid it's too big. I'm afraid it won't fit me right. But who is it that you've ran into? And you will run into these people in the future, too, when they're asking you, what? What do I ride? What's the best bike for me? What brand? As you can see, Sunny is on the B Rod today. And uh, so we're going to be talking about the B Rod that we just bought a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen that video, Sunny talks about us actually buying that B Rod for $1,500. And uh, giving it a new look. And I'll have to show you the before and after. before and afters of the B-Rod, I want to tell you my daughter, Desiree, maybe, maybe Badger is what we call her, she is 5'5", five five, 125 pounds, 17, dying to learn how to ride and have her own motorcycle. And we said, that's fine, but we want you to drive your car, get a couple years of experience underneath you before you go jump on a motorcycle. So, yeah, this bike was for Sonny because he wanted to have a V-Rod in the garage. Thought it would be cool as a, a collector item since they don't, no, you know, no longer produce them. And $1,500 for a motorcycle that nothing wrong with, uh, yeah, sold. So we had our daughter throw her leg over it and see if she fits on it. And so here's a clip of her jumping on the bike, and you're going to see, you know, how exactly it fits her for her height and her weight. So here you go. The new addition to the family. <laughs> Throw your leg over. Stand up. Look at you, flat footed. Both feet are flat. Flat and your legs foot. Are bent. See? It's small compared to those. Yeah. It's light compared to those, too. It does feel. It's really light. I remember trying to pick up one of these at Harley, the one with these at Harley. And you were on the back with me. It's definitely more sporty. You can yes. tell because it leans forward more. It's sporty. You like the sporty part of it? Yeah. Like the 
fact that it's not big like those and that it's it's smaller and it's sportier and it's all of the above. Yeah. And it's still Harley, Dad. Can you, can you reach the pedals? <laughs> and it's still Harley, can you Dad. Reach the pedals? I think so. Oh, I got, got you. it. Okay. Yeah. You can reach the mm -hmm. Good. I was worried about that. Yeah. There you go. Someday you might be able to ride it. It might be. <laughs> Dad would get so attached to be like, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> Show everybody your shirt. This is where Desi works. Turn around. Love barbecue. She loves Sunny's barbecue. <laughs> Giving them free rent too. Sunny's barbecue. Sunny's barbecue. I might be late just 10 minutes. You better go to work, girl. <laughs> so as you can see, her feet are flat on the ground. And her dad was holding the bike up while she put her feet up on the pegs. And his concern was to see reach the pegs. She did just fine. So really, I mean, this bike fits her, fits her good. A lot of women, you know, want to have their feet flat on the ground. It's a big thing. And it is. You feel so much more confident when your feet are fully tucked. Not that they have to, but it does help. And there goes study on the b rod. So you'll have to watch his video because he's actually talking about the mechanics of it. And so that's another thing, you know, if you get a bike and you're a girl and maybe you don't have a man around and you're just concerned about, you know, a bike that that is reliable, that you're not going to have a lot of problems with and issues. And so he's, he's talking about that in his video, so be sure to check it out. Now, I want to jump on the bike myself and show you guys how I fit on it and what my thoughts are being on the bike as well. All right, switch, switch. This is a good spot. Well, guys, watch Mama Badger here. She wants to do some kind of like film roll thing. We're in traffic, by the way. See all the traffic? We just parked in the middle of the parking road. Right, except this car and that car and that car. Nobody. One click. Everything turn off? Yep. Yep. All right, it's on. So let's talk about the good stuff with this thing. As you can see, I sit on it just fine. I am six feet tall, so I am taller. And I have so much room. Look at how much room I've got on this bike to move around so if you're shorter than me no problem you saw my daughter she's flat-footed on here so as far as like comfort goes where the handlebars are are just fine they of course can be adjusted and changed but I mean they're they're fine they fit good I've got lots of room here so you think even on my bike I'm actually more stretched out even farther more out my arms are more like this so as you can see here, I'm like, I'm on the, I'm on the bike. I mean, I'm on the top of it, so I'm over it. And it's really light. It's not a heavy bike. The front end, as you can see, there's not a lot of front end to it. So as far as like it being too popping, every, as everybody says, um, you're not going to get that with this at all. So not a lot of top end weight. Which will stop at some point, as you can see. I know when I lift it up, it's not hard to lift up. Ready? Yep. yep. It's, it's easy enough for me to... <laughs> All right, it's easy enough for me to pick up this direction. But if you turn the wheel all the way to the right, and then it's much, much easier. It's so simple. And being on the bike, you can see, and I can throw this bike around. It's, it's, you know, I can move this thing around and feel comfortable in it. I say the only thing I don't like about this B rod is that it's I can't put a, a windshield on it. That at least I don't think so. I don't know. That's, that's curious to know. Can I put another you know another type of windshield on it? Because the windshield it came with was 
crappy and get a lot of you were getting wind even though it had a windshield on it it didn't matter it was still pushing the wind into your face so we just took the windshield off so if you're wanting to travel like long distance then you know you definitely want to bike with the windshield so you can see my legs like see how like, i've got a lot here we can touch the ground just fine I actually feel like I'm really big on this bike for me. Um, that's one of the things you can watch my video and my reaction to this bike, my thoughts, so I'll throw that in here too. And how, you know, what I thought of this thing. So I had a few choice words for it. So here you go, watch that. Mama Badger's first time. You've been dying. Sitting on the view rod. You've been dying for me to get on this. I have. You I said it's see how you react. so much different. Though. It is. You're going to find out. I mean, just standing over it, I can <laughs> tell the difference. All right. Are you happy? I'm on it now. Yep. Even happier when you stand it up. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing, right? Yeah. Super light. <laughs> it's so weird though I, I don't know about this <laughs> it's like alien-ish to me it is it, it just the whole bike seems to be it's totally different It's a totally different Weird, like the windshield, setup. the way the windshield is, it's, it's freakish. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I definitely think the bike looks 10 times better now that um, it's been wrapped. So, you know, the look is an issue. And you want a bike that you like and you're proud of and that you look back at and say, that's my bike, I want that. So now, I mean, I don't mind riding this. It's definitely just a bike to like go around and have fun on, take some short trips, enjoy, be the first bike to ride. Absolutely. Oh, I know. Another thing to talk. Another thing to talk about is um, the speed. So yeah, it takes off. But that's all part of learning how to ride is how to do your throttle control and how to release the clutch and I'm going. <laughs> it's like I didn't know what Sunny was doing. Ah! One of those, I might as well go get out of the way moment. Did not get hit. So as I was saying, uh, the throttle control, the flex control, that's all stuff you need to learn. I don't care what bike you're on, it's going to have some power to it. It's just something you gotta got to practice that. We all did. So to rock this up, I would not hesitate at all to put my 17-year-old daughter on this bike. If she likes it, she wants to ride it, then no doubt it's, it's going to be her bike. Thanks so much for watching. You can help me grow the channel by subscribing, giving it a thumbs up, and commenting. Those things are what YouTube loves, and you do those things that help other people see more videos. There's also this little bell at the top. If you ring the bell, then you get notified when I do when I do new videos. So be sure to ring that bell too. Until next time. Love you guys. And